In Jigawa State, the governor, Omar Namade, has reaffirmed his administration's commitment to enhancing food security through the adoption of mechanized agriculture. The governor said this when he bid farewell to master tractor technician trainees departing for China to undergo training on agricultural mechanization. Yusuf Isa has more details. Governor Omar Namadi's commitment to merchandise agriculture is part of his administration's 12-point agenda to broaden strategies that will transform Jigawa State's agricultural sector. By introducing modern farming techniques and equipment, the state is set to increase crop yields, reduce labor costs, and enhance the overall efficiency of its agricultural production. Today, we are sending 30 graduates to China to be trained as master technicians. This gentleman, they are all, all of them have engineering background, and they also they have agricultural background. The mechanization initiative is expected to benefit local farmers, providing them with access to advanced technology and training. This is as Jigawa state is set to cultivate 100,000 hectares of wheat in this year's dry season farming. Um, this year, the Gulf State is targeting 120,000 hectares of wheat productions. Uh, as you're aware, last year, the Gulf produced over 55,000 hectares of wheat. Um, it's a part of the elaborate plan of the Gulf State to help Nigeria to achieve self-sufficiency in wheat productions, and we believed with the available resources in terms of land, water, but these farmers, committed farmers, and extremely committed leadership, uh, we can do that. This in turn is anticipated to contribute to the state's food security, economic growth, and poverty reduction efforts. With regard to mechanization, now Gamma had set up and had purchased about 300 tractors 80 combined harvesters and all the necessary employment for palm mechanization company. We set up the company and this company is profit oriented and it will work for the benefit of Jigawa people. By acquiring modern tractors, maintenance and repair skills, the trainees are expected to play a crucial role in supporting local farmers and contributing to the state's agricultural transformation.